So Steve, how did you become aware of Scania's additional services like telematics and training outside the, the basic vehicle? So when we um, invited Scania in at the tender stage, they gave us a briefing about the uh, telematics systems mm. that would be available on the new vehicles. So we asked for them to, to come back in at a later date and give us a demonstration, which they right. did, and that impressed us. What sort of difference to your business do these telematics and training packages make? So when we initially bought the vehicles, we purchased the driver training packages for the day drivers. All my vehicles are double manned. And within a very quick time, it, it, you could easily see there was a, a, a gulf um, coming between how the dr day drivers were performing and the night drivers were performing, so those who had had the training and those who hadn't. So it really was an easy decision to make to purchase the extra training for the night drivers to put them in the same position as the day drivers. So a clear economic benefit then? A clear economic benefit, yeah. yeah. And how about the training? Was there a flexible approach to providing the training? Did we fit in with your shift patterns, for example? The, the, the day shift are, are fairly straightforward. They start anywhere between sort of five and six, and uh, that was fairly easy. The night shift, when, when we did the training for them, was a little more challenging because they have various night, uh, start times. But again, the, the training team were flexible enough and, and, and uh, yeah, they, they came in, no problem at all. Was there any other way in which you measured the effectiveness of the training? Yeah, it, it, it soon became very clear to me that the, the drivers that had benefited from the training were, according to the telematics that I was receiving, had improved, their driving performance had improved, their fuel efficiency had, uh, had improved, and they'd really taken on board some of the key elements of the training that they were given, so harsh braking, coasting, use of cruise control, and so on and so forth, whereas the other drivers hadn't done done that or weren't, weren't doing that um, and so the, the, the disparity between the two sets of drivers was, was fairly obvious straight from the get-go. So yeah, it, it soon became clear that uh, it was an obvious business case to, to invest, further invest rather, in, in more training for the, for the drivers that hadn't initially benefited from the, the training package. If we look at the telematics first of all, what key benefits would you say it brought to your business? So the ability to focus on individual aspects of driver and vehicle performance, supporting our road safety and fuel efficient uh, initiatives really. And how about the employees? The employees get the satisfaction of having the investment in themselves as drivers for, for, for the training. Um, I believe that any training given to a driver is beneficial, especially given our geographical location um, with vulnerable road users. As I say, the, the, we are CLOX champions and we are striving towards the maximum amount of, of awareness for our drivers on the vulnerable road users and making them safe. And finally, what benefits would you say the telematics has in terms of your customers? FM Conway um, operates a self-delivery model, so we, we are the customer, where we manufacture and deliver our own building materials to bring efficiency for customers. So it's even more important that we deliver on time, every time, for our own customers. In what way do you think that telematics and training help with the total operating economy of the vehicle? The vehicles themselves are, are a massive cost, the drivers are a massive cost, um, fuel is a, is a huge cost, tyres, costs, there's, there's so much cost going out that if we can minimise our costs, our outlays in any way, shape or form, it, it's got to be a benefit to the business. Steve, thank you very much for taking time out of your day to have this chat with us. Thanks very much.